Hey girl, welcome back. Listen, we're about to jump into a I would say love reading. I don't know if it's love yet, okay? But we're going to definitely do a relationship reading on Miss Lori Harvey, which is Steve Harvey's stepdaughter. Okay, let's say stepdaughter because Steve Harvey got a bunch of kids out there that's real daughters and sons that he ain't claiming, but he claiming this one, okay? Uh, girl. And then we got uh, Damon Idris. Now, is this uh, Idris Idris' son? Girl, I can't think of that man's name. I ain't, I ain't said his name in a long time. Um, that played on Daddy's Little Girl with Tyler Perry, you know. You know, he don't play the other stuff, but that's what I remember him in. But that can't be his son. Is this, how is this boy? But, girl, either way, okay. Um, he clearly is some type of up-and-coming actor, okay. And, girl, Lori Harvey then jumped on it. So, we're going to see what's the energy between these two. Could this be something real? Girl, is it another come-up for Lori? Let me know. So, let's jump into it. Now, Divine Angels, if you could please give me the, the current energy for these two. Lori Harvey and her new official boo, Dams Damson Idris. Damson. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Damson and Lori. What can we expect from Damson and Lori? Girl, we can't expect nothing. Okay. The same old, same old. No conversation from Lori. No words spoken from Lori. And this person right here don't seem like he's going to be speaking either. So, girl. Okay, nothing from this deck. Let's see what this deck has to say. Girl, I'm not about to beg these people to say that they care for each other. That's what I'm not going to do. So, let's see. What's the current energy for Lori and Damson relationship? Okay, or well, somewhat cute. Now, the first card, we have a separation, girl. So, this looks like sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Uh-oh, somebody was very, because it's the first card. It says separation. Now, I don't know about Damson. Did he have some type of girl that he was with and he separated from? Recent breakup. But we know Lori. Just uh, separated from her last fake boyfriend, okay? Michael B., so, there was a separation here. Now, it speaks of sadness and missing you. Now, it also speaks about um, thinking about you, yearning, and somebody is very unsure of the future. Now, we know when Lori get unsure of the future, honey, she got to go jump on a man, baby. So, now this could be, like I said, this can be a separation that caused them to come together. And they was thinking about each other and, and kind of missing each other. And because they was unsure of the future, they was like, you know what? What this is. Let's 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 do this, okay? That's kinda of what I'm picking up. And then Cupid Cupid's arrow. Okay, so somebody was in a mourning stage, okay? They was mourning a relationship, a past relationship. I'm assuming it's Lori. But it could have been him. I don't know this man. But we got the Cupid's arrow. So this like have faith. Love is coming your way. Okay, you're gonna be loved, Lori. Okay. Trust me. Somebody in Hollywood is gonna love you and wife you. And make you an honorable lady. Okay, so you can get out these streets. But other than that girl, that girl is dating and having fun. So we got a surprise invitation and meeting. But there was some type of hesitation here. So and it's, it's like they didn't just jump into this relationship. Okay, Cupid shot his arrow. Uh, they were just trusting that this could be something um, great. Because it seems like Lori is tired of the separations. Because as a woman, we can play games that men play. And it's all cute and dandy. But... Because we are women, our emotions and our feelings are going to get involved, okay? Whether we try to say, oh, I'm just I'm just in it for the money. I'm just... Our emotions, if we are healthy individuals, it's going to get involved, okay? And then eventually those fake breakups, regardless if they are real or fake, will hurt, okay? So there's some type of hesitation here. But we got the engagement ring, baby. If the engagement ring got the right type of carrots, baby, you probably can marry her. So we got engagement, a partnership, a commitment, eternal, a completion, and a union. So this an engagement ring can, can speak about the early um, developments of a relationship that could possibly um, turn into an engagement. Okay, so they very engaged with each other. 
Um, it's also speaking about, they could possibly be thinking about taking things to the next level. Okay, because we got soulmates. That's a soul connection, a partnership, and an agreement. A soul contract, girl. Now, listen. When it comes to luring, okay, we know these soul contracts just be a regular contract, girl. It's just a contract to say we're going to date. She's known for it. Now, is she is she going to be the girl that's known to go and, and hang out with down low guys and make them give them some relevance? Is that what's going on? That's just kind of what I picked up just a second ago. But I got a soul contract now. Engagement. Are you going to get engaged like you did with Michael B? Just for a contract, just for money? I don't know. But then we got love here. So there's some promise. In, there's some promise here in this relationship. This could possibly, uh, if it did start off as some type of contract, it could um, develop into something that's, you know, that Lori probably ain't never experienced, which is love. It says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Now, it could be a lot of heavy attraction here, but I do see, you know, it started off because somebody was mourning a relationship, a breakup. Um, Cupid came in, shot his arrow. They said, have faith, honey. This could possibly develop into something. Uh, we got engagement, girl. It's like, just get, just take it to an engagement level. And then you can, a girl, if you need to leave, you can leave. But I think once they get into an engagement level and start engaging with each other, I think something's going to develop between these two that could possibly be real because we got this soul contract, this contract that they have could develop into love. Okay. So... Let's see here. Let's see what these cards have to say about these two. What's the energy between Lori Harvey and Damson? All right, girl, we got... Okay, the first card that came out is the Crossroads. Now, it's like they got together for free on free will. Like, they... They was in a crossroad in their life, maybe at a point in their life, maybe an age in their life where they feel like, okay, it's time to, you know, choose a path and, and be serious about life. It's like making choices. And, but they was like divided about it. It's like, I don't think they both, it was something that was kind of keeping them, some type of hesitation about them getting together here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it again, some type of crossroad, but it's like somebody was willing to give it a chance. Um, and I think because they were willing to give it a chance, they feel like they ma they probably made a good decision. Because we got the fish here, which speaks about wealth, okay? Girl, about money. And we know Lori love a, a good chick, okay? So it's a, it speaks about money, wealth. Fish can also be about a new beginning. It could be uh, also about dreaming about fish. It could be um, pregnancy, fertility. Uh, but it's definitely speaking about money and wealth, okay? So somebody decided, okay, I'm going to take... I may do one more relationship for money. I may do one more and that's going to be my quarter. Okay. But it's like the bear here. It's like stand strong, girl. The bear also speaks about wealth as well. It speaks about good health. It also speaks about a career. So, again, it's giving me uh, very Hollywood again. Okay. It's like right when I think these folks are about to love on each other, it's giving me money, wealth, career. Hollywood, okay, somebody um, with some, some type of weight in the game, some type of some type of heavy weight in the game um, to kind of stand up and be strong and, and make money when it comes to their career. It's also speaking about, like I said, good health as well. Health and wealth, okay, I see a lot of health and wealth here. But then we got the moon card, which speaks about some type of delusions. Some, some type of cycles. Somebody go. This is a cycle for somebody. We know it's a cycle for definitely Lori. And this is not the dog Lori. Like she a single woman. Um, she should go out there and have a good time. But it seems like Lori get into these relationships. Because of career choices and money choices. And the girl ain't got to say a word. And I don't think. I think it's taking a toll on her. At this point. On her mental health. Okay. And but she still. Again this is money and career. Okay. But we got some type of delusion, some type of, it's like mentally, a mental cycle here. So let's see, can we find out more about this moon card? Why is this moon card here for Lori and Damson's relationship? Why 
Blast the Moon card here. All right. So, this we're, again, we got the mature woman. Okay. So, I don't know if Lori looking at herself as she running out of time. She needs to make a decision about her life because she's not getting any younger. Because she's, uh, I don't know why she feels like she's showing up as a mature woman. But it's time to be mature, okay? Girl, take a real relationship. Stop trying to, because um, I don't even know what she's doing in life. I don't even know what kind of career choices she got. I, I, I have not heard this girl speak a word. All I see is baby hair and face, okay? That's all I see. But it's like a mature woman here. Then we got marriage, okay? Seems like she's looking at, is she looking for someone to marry now? Because she feels like she's getting older and she wants to marry somebody. Okay, then we got the journey here. Um, it's like somebody leaving, traveling, maybe traveling um, to see each other. Maybe even traveling, um, looking for something. On a, This is somebody on a journey, okay? Uh, some Maybe some type of self-discovery. But we got two people looking. We got people looking at her. So at this point, she's noticed that people are looking. And she's trying to make a good decision on her life, okay? She's trying to go down the right path in her life this time. Okay, with a man that's mature. So she's trying to put some mature woman. She wants a man that's just as mature. Okay, that's smart about his money, about his career. Okay, and honey, so they can look good together. But she also may be thinking about growing old with him as well. So she may want to um, go on a journey with him. And she, she feel like she probably, you know, I think love has developed in this. I don't know how long these people have been together. But it seems like. This could possibly end with a marriage. Okay, I see engagement. I see marriage here. I see both of them being very mature here. Now, even though there's some cycles here and some delusions, okay, it may have started off as a typical cycle, but it may end up going to something that's real. Maybe, because because this is at the end. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if these folks want to talk to each other. Let's see what Lori would like to say to Damson. And what Damson would like to say to Lori. So we're going to start with you, Damson. Because I don't, I think we're going to be here all day trying to get Lori to talk. So let me start with you. So Damson, could you please give me some cards from this deck to describe? What would you like to say to Lori? If you could say something to her right now. What would you like to say to Lori? Girl, they may be a perfect match because they probably got much to say to each other. They probably don't even talk at all at home. They probably do sign language. So let's see. What would Lori like to say to Damson? Okay. Lori, would you like to say something to Damson if you would? Here's your, here's your time. Okay. Now it's the time, girl. Oh, girl, why would you throw your card directly on top of this man card? Now I don't know which one is which. Okay. So I'm assuming this right here. Okay. Here we go. Now... Yeah, since Damson, honey, I only said a couple things. He said, I can still smell your perfume. So Damson a little freak. He a little freaky. Okay. So he liked the way she smells. So it seems like he a little obsessed with her. He said, I can still smell your perfume on him. On my t-shirt. I haven't taken him off my t-shirt. It still smells like your, your perfume, Lori. Okay. I still can smell your perfume on my t-shirt. I mean, I'm just assuming that's how he talk. I don't know, girl. He said, I'm not dating. So, are you not dating Lori or are you not dating, period? Okay. That's a little confusing. But let's see what Lori has to say to, to Damson. She says, my family was right. Girl, where's the camera angle? She said, my family was right about you. Who, girl? Was it your stepdad or your mama? Okay. Uh, is Damson money right? Because if Damson money right, then she's talking about her mama. Okay. Her mama says she... Girl, he the one. Let's move on. It says you speak to you speak to my heart through music. Okay, so it's like Lori is in in it to win it. Okay, Lori is in this relationship. Seems like it. I can't get you out of my head. Okay, Lori. Girl, this might be the one. Now I don't know if Damson gonna play games with her, honey. But cause Damson over here talking about he can smell a perfume, but he said not dating. So, but she said I can't get you out of my head. Okay, that's cute. She says, can I have my personal items back? Girl, what did you leave over the man house, girl? Hmm. Your edge brush? 
Yeah, go get that girl because I know you can't live without your edges, girl. She said, I miss you. Oh, my life is better with you in it. Okay, look at y'all. Look at Lori. Like she in love, girl. And Lori talking. Girl, I'm so proud of her. Then it says, my family was wrong about you. Now, is this your real daddy? Girl, is your real daddy trying to come in? Girl, talk to me. Did your dad? Did your real daddy get released from prison yet? Allegedly, I don't know, girl. It just looked like a Marjorie would love a good old bad boy, a D boy, back in her day. Okay, when when um Lori was born. But girl, ain't no proof for that. So that's gonna conclude the reading for Lori Harvey and Dabson Idris. I mean, I wish the best for them. If Lori can finally find somebody that she can love and be with and be happy with. Then I, I want that for her. But girl, Damson, I don't know how he over here talking, girl. So we'll just have to see. Let me pull some cards on this not dating. Why did Damson say that? Why did Damson say not dating? Why did he say not dating? I'm trying to look out for Lori. Damson, why would you say that you're not dating? So it seems like key on the ring. It says many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, and one night stand. Uh oh, girl, Dempson said he, girl, he said he knew on the on the Hollywood scene, baby, he ain't ready to settle down like that. He said if he can get Lori Harvey, he may can get somebody else. Oh, girl, okay. So he said this is a one night stand. I don't know if him and um, Lori had a one night stand and they weren't seriously dating. But he said he got many options, and he's trying to make a decision. But whatever they got is unconventional, okay? And it may be, he may be stringing her along, or she may, or he may feel like she's stringing him along. But then we got Coffee Cup. He said, we just meeting and talking. We're just trying to savor the moment. You know, we just, it's friendship. He said he's feeling up, uplifted by her, and he enjoy her, you know, at the Starbucks. But for now, it's friendships. Okay, what's next? He says, Cassette. He said because right now he got some outdated thinking, maybe, in his head. He's uh, replaying events over in his head. So I don't know if he's thinking about her history. Okay, because he said he, he, he looked back at the car facts, baby. Okay, he had to replay what was going on that, you know, who he with. And it seems like right now, he may not be as serious about this relationship as she is. But it's not to say that it won't develop into something, but it's just saying right now, Girl, Dampson said he got uh, he got options, girl. So that's going to conclude the reading for Lori and Dampson. I hope you enjoyed it. Catch me on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.